Talking about Indian IT sector and Indian IT stocks, two years back, all these stocks were trading at an all-time high. And talking about the current scenario, we have seen a significant downfall and correction in such IT stocks. Hi, my name is Shanavas, and I'm a corporate trainer at Fintu. Today, we'll talk about the current scenario of the Indian IT sector and what lies ahead. We'll also talk about the two promising stocks which you could include in your portfolio. The Nifty IT index has been one of the biggest loser as compared to other sectoral baskets, correcting almost by 32% from its high of 39,000 levels. The Nifty IT index is currently trading at 26,480 levels and is forming new lows in almost every trading session. The main concern regarding Indian IT companies is its largest consumers, which are US-based clients. With the increased concern of the rising inflation and recession in the US, it is unclear whether these US-based clients of the IT companies will be able to keep up with the capex. Also, there is an expectation that these new deals and new deal sizes will not be the same as before for the Indian IT sector. Another concern is regarding the valuations. During and post COVID era, we saw IT stocks becoming one of the most preferred investment options among investors all around the world. Especially the Indian IT sector, which rose almost 3.5 times from 11,000 to 39,000 levels from its lows of 2020 to its all-time high in 2022, also forming less valuation safety for the investors. Combining the high valuation factor and the future growth concerns of these companies, especially from its largest consumer, which is the US, which has caused the IT stocks to correct massively from their highs. The first major company to start off the earnings seasons were from the IT stocks, and to be honest, the results spooked the market a little and confirmed all the concerns. TCS opened the earnings seasons of the IT sector, followed by the HCL Technologies. TCS reported a 185 basis points sequential decline in its EBITDA margin to 23.1 percent for the quarter ended June. Similar trend was seen in HCL Technologies. The company reported a 2.11 percent growth in its consolidated profit after tax at rupees 3,281 crores, as compared to 3,213 crores recorded in the corresponding quarter a year ago. Rupee has been correcting a lot as compared to the US dollar due to the changes in interest rate fluctuations all around the globe. What kind of effect do they have on the Indian IT companies, and do they tend to benefit or not? Like mentioned earlier, the biggest client of the Indian IT companies are based out of US. Any change in the US dollar as compared to the Indian rupee is generally beneficial for the Indian companies as they can value more the same deal as compared to any historical deal price. Hence. The Indian IT companies also report dollar adjusted results along with their results. The current scenario of rupee decline against the dollar is a big positive for the Indian IT companies. IT sector has and always will be the preferred sector to invest over a long term horizon for the investors focusing to invest in India. This is due to the nature of business and its expansion into what is called the sunrise business. Name it. 5G technology, AI-based business, and Web 3.0. IT companies has the access to future technologies that have the potential to drive growth and deliver performance over the long-term horizon. Having said that, the current scenario looks a little less favorable for the short-term duration. This sector is expected to have a subdued movement, and it may remain there till the time we get a clarity about how. The growth cycle is going to be better in terms of IT spends for the US. Now, we'll talk about those two stocks which looks promising in the near future. The first stock is Persistent System, and the second stock is Oracle Financial Services. Talking about Persistent Systems Limited, its revenue is expected to grow by 6.8 percent quarter on quarter and by 36 percent year on year, led by high growth in the services revenue. Growth is expected to be broad-based across verticals led by BFSI, healthcare and life sciences, and technology. And now, talking about the core growth prospects of the Oracle Financial Services. So, Oracle Financial Services has acquired new clients across all their business areas. Simultaneously, 
or Trickle Financial Services has been growing their business and their revenue through their existing clients by targeted upselling and cross-sell. The company has continued investments in building organic SaaS solutions which are now starting to bear fruits. Oracle Financial Services has signed their largest ever multi-year SaaS deal with a tier 1 US bank. So that was all about a detail analysis on the Indian IT sector. For more such videos and detail analysis, do subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you for watching the Friday First Cut video by Pintu.